Good morning guys, welcome to a brand new vlog. Starting off the day with, first of all, a brand new camera. Hopefully this one is better than my one, this was Alex's one. So let's see, because I'm sick to death of mine. So, fingers crossed, this is better. Today I'm feeling absolutely rubbish again. It's like my sore throat's come back. It woke me up this morning at like 5am, just like so sore. I'm absolutely fed up of it now. Um, I know you guys keep being like, go to the doctors, but since we've moved, we haven't registered at a doctor's yet. It's like been top of my list and we haven't done it. We're gonna do that this week so I can go and actually see a doctor because I'm fed up now. Um, I was gonna cancel today, but I just have a few lovely things on and I really don't wanna let anyone down, so I'm just gonna go for it. Just hope I don't get any worse, to be honest. Um, so but I'm wearing my beautiful jumper and I've just sort of tucked it into a really comfortable pair of navy trousers to match with the blue in the jumper. I did put on a really tight pair of pants and I was like, I'm not feeling being strapped into a pair of leggings today. So instead, I'm in comfy pants. Comfy pants. Um, the most beautiful sunrise this morning. It was stunning. Half seven. Since when did it sunrise at half seven? It's so late. But it was beautiful. Like the whole sky was lilac and pink and oranges. Oh, countryside life. I am loving it vastly. I've also lost my lipstick, my peony lipstick, so I'm really upset about it. I need to go find another lipstick. Anyway, I need to get out now. Quick check up. I am having an eye test for the first time in years, years and years, at Vision Express. Choosing some sunglasses and also some glasses because my vision just seems to have got a little bit worse. But well, that's what I thought. Anyway, my eye test says it's not that much worse, but still, very, very happy. I'm finally getting this done, to be honest, because it's been a little bit too long between my eye tests. I'm really glad I came in earlier. I came in like half an hour early because I knew I'd need to choose. And I, yeah, I've spent some time, but they've got like, I mean, this massive Chanel wall, so I went a little bit crazy over here, I'll be honest. We've got Cartier and Bulgari and Dior. So it was a little bit small for choice, to be honest, but I've made my decision. So these are the two I've chosen. These are gonna be my spectacles. Chanel, just very like trendy, kind of a bit, a little bit translucent style, but with more of a beige tone. And then these are gonna be my prescription sunnies from Chanel. Pearl detail on the arm. So nice, and the prescription, so I'll be able to drive with these. And I don't have any other prescription sunnies. So I'm quite, do you know what, I'm gonna try them on for you. Right, so these are the glasses that I've gone for. I think they're really cool. I feel like they'll look good with my hair up or down. I just really like the style. And then, and then these are my sunnies. They're a little bit wonky on me right now, but obviously when they fit, I think they'll be really cool, like, for like black house style. I love this pearl detail, like I said. They're just quite chic and simple and plain. But when they've got prescriptions in them, I'll be able to drive with these. And that makes me so happy. And I can actually go to fashion week and be able to see people whilst covering my eyes from the sun. Fantastic. I'm really pleased with these, so I'm taking the two pairs home. They do have a deal actually at the moment. Buy one, get one free on glasses. If you were looking, currently on my way to ZZ's. It's raining. Guys, I think this coat might be a hit. I've had numerous people saying things to me in the street. Numerous, I, I don't even mean numerous, I mean like 10 plus about how, how much they love my coat. I mean, I'm looking rained on and bedraggled now, but I think it's a hit, guys. And the last vlog. You've already seen us in everyone else's vlogs already. We're having a little feezies, a little lunch with my girls. We never get a chance to, like, catch up, so we always have to organise these little dinner dates. Today we're at Zizi's, and then... Susie's birthday! Yeah, it was... The chat that's still Susie's birthday. It's always my birthday. I love our chat, though, on there. It's a great little chat. I've got so much cheese. This is so cheesy. And this, I'm really jealous of this, guys. Very, very exciting moment. Ooh, great there. This is the moment I have been desperate to happen for the past, God knows how long, few weeks, but months. <laughs> I've been waiting for my closet to be at a stage where I can put things in it for so long. I've been so excited. This is a real 
dream for me to have my own closet space, somewhere to house all of my bags and shoes and all my clothing. Obviously, with what I do as a blogger, I've accumulated a lot of a lot of things, and so I kind of need somewhere to keep it, but also somewhere to film my videos and film my makeup tutorials, and just an all-round place where I can actually get stuff done for my job, for my career. So this is a really, really proud moment and an exciting moment, and. My closet's at a point now where I feel I can show you it. It is not finished. It it doesn't have all the doors on yet. There are still pieces of wood missing. There are still things that need finishing off. But I'm just so, so excited to show you and I wanted to kind of like reveal where we're up to at this point with the closet and just sort of show you a few things. Of course, there'll be like a full closet reveal coming soon when everything's done, when the painting's done, the floor's in and all the little decorations. Of course, I'll be doing like a little show around and show you everything in there. But for now, I just thought I would show you where we're up to and the overall vibe of my new closet. <laughs> okay, can't wait to put on my new door handles. Let's go in. Of course, the floor is, is uh, things are going to go over the floor, but here we go. Eek. <laughs> I am over the moon. We've got my, my dressing table for all of my makeup and my bag shelves. We've got my low hanging storage and my drawers. We have my long hanging storage mirrors and of course we're just missing a door here, the door was missing. And around this side we've got my shoe wardrobes, just missing a couple of handles off of here. And at this point, at this point on this side we're also just missing a piece of wood for here and a piece of wood for here. Like I said, it's not painted yet, it's still got this like lemony yellow colour, so I'm just going to go like full out white in here. It's not painted, it needs a new lamp, I'm going to have some gorgeous lighting put up. And of course, the floor isn't ready, I mean the floor's beautiful. I have decided that the floor, I am, I've decided because I did want underfloor heating and loads of you were like, don't do like carpet or jute with underfloor heating, it doesn't work very well. Um, so I've decided instead to go for a laminate, an LVT tile, just like in my kitchen and my lounge. Same company, Project Flooring, I just really rate their products and I just think that they look really realistic, so I really like what they do. So I'm going to have the same thing, different colour this time, with underfloor heating, and then I'm most likely going to have a lovely rug, and then my poof, my storage poof, in the middle of the room, which I'd like to be on wheels. That means that when I am filming my videos, that I have this whole space, whole space that I can do videos where I show you my outfits and you know everything. I mean, it's very echo in here, by the way, right now. Of course, it just needs all the finishing touches. Yeah, it just means I've got all this extra space to film in. Because of course, I did have, I did think about putting an island in here, which would have been awesome, extra storage, but. I just needed more space in the middle so I could do full on, full on videos for you guys. So, seeing as my new closet is kind of ready to go, like I said there's a few things missing, it's not quite right yet, but I thought that we could put a few things away together. And to do so, I have some beautiful new things that I've picked up from my Teresa for over the winter and the next few weeks, I'm going on a holiday next week and then for over Christmas and for over New Year. So I've chosen a few new things from my Teresa and I thought we could kind of unbox them together and we can put them into their places that they're going to live together. I'm really excited about this so I'm hoping that you are just as excited. Um, and then for the rest of the night I'm literally then going to start moving all my other stuff into here and start working on putting stuff away. One thing I'm super excited about is these makeup drawers. I now have six, ooh, lots of nets and bolts. And I have six makeup drawers now in here. This is just amazing. So I'm gonna be able to have like a foundation drawer, an eyeshadow drawer. You know, I can have like palettes 
in more drawers. I used to have three drawers in my old desk for years, so having six drawers now is amazing. And just having this space. I do have a little stool downstairs as well, I just haven't brought it up yet. Like this is one of my favourites. This is this is for my tall boots. It's a full like boot cupboard storage. And then I think you guys are gonna love this. In here we have my shoe racks. Shoe racks. And I've already tested it. I can get about eight or nine shoes on one of these. So and then you've got three. So you've only got nine. So you're talking about 70 pairs of shoes in these here. Then all of my boots to go in there. So hopefully I can fit a lot in. But like I said, I'll also be doing like, when I start moving things in, I'll start clearing out at the same time. And downsizing, and I will most likely start putting some things onto, um, putting some things onto my Depop. Um, so that'll be in the next few weeks. So then move forward with my Depop in the fro, because it'll obviously be things going up on there. Anyway, let's do this little bit of a, a unboxing together. Okay, yeah, it's right. I just took a minute to go have some dinner. I also just started unboxing with my camera and then I was a few, I was like three pieces down showing them to you. And then was like, actually, I can't stand how yellow the lighting was. It was really quite dark. So instead I stopped and I went and got light. My old lights, I got my lights out. So this next unboxing that I'm gonna do, this is a, an integrated paid for advertorial with my Teresa. I've worked with my Teresa so many times now on vlogs and Instagram, etc. They are a brand that I have bought from for years and to be able to work with them makes me so proud. They're such a cool brand. They're a German-based retailer that stock pretty much every luxury brand there is, you will find. I've bought so many things from there, Max Mara, Valentino, Prada, Fendi, Miu Miu, etc. They've got pretty much everything, apart from, you know, Chanel, Dior, Louis Vuitton, who just sell on their own sites. You will pretty much find every other brand that you love will be on My Teresa. But not only that, the thing that makes me keep going back to My Teresa is, first of all, their shipping is so fast. <coughs> Losing my voice. Their shipping is super fast. I ordered this and maybe two days later I had my parcel already. It's so speedy. If you want to send anything back, the return procedure is super quick. You'll just go on the website, press you on a return, ring DHL, they'll come get your box. So quick, like free returns. But also like the stock that they buy onto that site is just always, I find, the trend pieces, like the hit pieces that you want to buy into that you've seen like your favourite bloggers or your favourite celebrities wearing. Chances are my Teresa will have it, they've just got a really cool buy in. So that's what keeps me kind of going back. But I do find with retailers like that that sell so many cool key products, sometimes hard to navigate which ones you love the most or which is worth investing in, etc. So that's why I like doing these videos because it means that I can go through the whole site and find the products that I think are really, really worth it and the things that really interest and excite me and hopefully you might, you guys might like it too. I've also chosen a few different items here in different price points, so things that are more in the premium end as well as a couple of things that are more on the luxury side. So hopefully there might be a few things in here that you really love. Let's start off with the first piece. I've literally just taken this off because I had it on. And I already know I really love this. This is an Acne Studios jumper. It's 100% wool. It's a really subtle cream tone. It's just very natural. I don't own anything with a V-neck. And the thing I like about this V-neck is how chunky it feels. It's got that very kind of old school vibe to the styling of it. It's got like this wide collar feel. It almost reminds me a bit of like my mum's old jumpers, but this with this more kind of updated vibe. It's not too oversized, the fit isn't like too much and too big um, and it's a really great length as well, it's not too cropped and it's not too long, it's great if you just want to tuck it in as well. So let me try this on again for you. Okay, so this is the jumper on. Um, I'm really quite smitten with it, I'll be honest. The overall shape is really cool, really wearable, especially if you want to wear it like v-neck like this. Um, the detailing in the different sections of the knit just had a little bit more interest. But the length, you can tuck it really nicely. I always like to do, ooh, I always like to do a bit of a midi tuck on my jumpers, I must admit, because I feel it just adds a bit more of a flattering 
figure shape, especially if they're more chunky, it just brings a bit more of your figure back. So you can just kind of do that, bag it out a little bit, and it adds a bit more shape back into the style. But you can also, with how much movement is in this jumper, you can also kind of go a bit more one shoulder if you want it more slouchy fit, a bit more kind of sexy, a bit more decolletage, shoulder blade, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, I don't know if you can quite go. I mean, you'd really stretch it if you went with the other one, but I like that kind of style. Or just stick with it like this. And I also, I think it would look great if you layered this with a roll neck underneath, like maybe a burgundy. I mean, it could be any colour, navy burgundy, a dark green, a black roll neck underneath, depending on how cold it gets where you are. But you know, you can just kind of layer it, throw this over the top for that kind of knitted texture. I really, really like this, guys. I think it's a really cool piece, actually. And I like how long as well the sleeves are. I like it when sleeves on jumpers just cover my palm of my hands. So yeah, love this a lot. Ooh, get some pretty flowers. This video will keep going along and suddenly like more bags will start appearing and things will start being added to the room. No, I'm joking, I'm doing that next. So, right, this piece, this is from Hunza G, it's a swimsuit. I've worn a Hunza G swimsuit before. Um, they sent me one years ago, actually and it was like purple and white one and it was just oh the style like a really like song bikini bum so flattering anyway ever since i've meant to get another one and i saw these they've got a really good selection on my teresa actually you might know this brand because rose huntington whitely wore them on instagram and it, everyone went mad for their um their suits and they kind of sold out of certain styles for ages Anyway, they've got loads of really cool colours and styles. They've got bikinis, they've got full swimsuits with straps, etc. But I really like this bandeau feel to this one. I thought it would be quite flattering. These are also like one size fits all. So they're mega stretchy, like they're so comfortable and really stretchy. So hopefully this fits super nice. Um, it's got the nice belt detail to this and it's quite a high leg which I prefer, I feel it's a little bit more flattering when it's a higher leg and a bit more of a thong bum. So I'm looking forward to trying this on. I'm not going to try this on for you guys, I'm so sorry. It's just, you know, winter season and all that and it's a bit cold in here. Don't really want to be getting my bod out for you, I'm sorry. But I will insert a couple of pictures of the models wearing this and looking fabulous for you. But I'd definitely have a look at the collection because it's just such a really cool... Um, it's a really cool brand. Oh, by the way, I've got this. For my, I'm not just buying random swimsuits. Um, I'm going away next week on a trip to France, going skiing, and they've got a gorgeous spa and an outdoor spa. So I just wanted something that I could wear in the jacuzzi. Okay, next up, this is more on the kind of luxury side of the scale. This Max Mara blazer. I'm a huge fan of Max Mara, especially of their tailoring and of their coats. I've got a couple of their tailoring pieces already and I'm a huge fan of the quality and the fit and the style. So I thought this blazer was pretty lovely, just a very easy, I mean it's almost like a Prince of Wales style patterned check here, but in, it's almost got blue tones to this, it's almost like a deep charcoal grey with blue tones to it. Yeah, it's definitely more... It just feels quite sophisticated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on. I've just got myself a white tee from downstairs. I'm just going to put on a white tee. I thought this could feel quite slouchy. It'd be a really good workwear piece as well. But just look quite sophisticated. I love me a blazer, as you know. I throw on over, again, over a roll neck or a bodysuit. Just give a bit of a feel for it. This is the Vibe, double breasted. It's a little bit more of a lightweight fabric, more of a light jacket, but I really like the pattern and the fit and these more structured shoulders. Like it feels quite, quite cool. Let me show you in the other mirror. Yeah, it fits really nice. Like the shoulders, the structure on the shoulders is really smart. Like imagine this with a, a roll neck again, like a cashmere black roll neck. This just thrown over. I like, I really like the style when it's buttoned up actually. I think it's really cool. But otherwise you just throw it on over a white tee. Sorry, I just keep noticing how big and bushy my eyebrows are looking. I'm a bit like, are we going a bit haywire here? I can't work it out. You can just like throw it on over white tee and jeans really relaxed fit the quality just feels really nice it's just very lightweight 
gorgeous wall. I can feel the quality of the wall. Got nice pockets in here. Yeah, I think this is actually really, really nice. If you're after something a bit more lightweight, something a bit more easy, you can kind of make it a bit more casual if you want. Just really cool for like the office or just around town or drinks with the girls, that kind of thing. And then if you need to be a bit more done up, just button and then the structure around the body, that is just really quite a flattering shape. Oh, I'm already excited to do Larissa videos in this room. So nice now to have my own space and it have like be a bit more interesting and not so crammed in. Ooh. You no, know, I thought this was gonna be a black, but this looks to me like a blue. Oh look. It really looks blue. Oh, so this must be a navy. Anyway, so the white jumper that I was wearing before, I've worn that so much. And I know so many of you guys have bought it on my recommendation that I didn't realise until I looked at my Teresa that it also came in dark blue. It would have been, that's definitely a blue, isn't it? It's definitely blue, yeah. It comes in a dark blue. And I'm such a massive fan of the white one and I've worn it so much. I just thought, you know what, I need to at least try this and see what I think. I've gone for the extra small again. I just love the fit of this jumper. Oh, hello. I like the big chunky collar on it but you can also like if you want to style it down you can i often just wear mine up like this so because i just like that more ununiformity to the feel of the collar and um, there's more kind of the more baggy sleeves and they've got these really cool pieces on them like these little bands and inside they've got like hooks that go around your thumbs which is quite a cool little touch to it as well um it's a really lovely length and again, you can tuck. I mean, just overall, I'm just, I am like the biggest fan of this jumper. So in honesty, the idea of having it in blue makes me feel very, very excited. It, I love it. I already love it so much. It just looks so great. It's such a fantastic fit. But even if you don't tuck it in, it's not too long. And it's just not too baggy. It's not overly oversized. You know, there's something where the bottom of the ribbing kind of pulls in a little bit more here so it's just it's got a bit more movement and a more oversized feel in the body but then it still kind of collects more here and gives more flattering figure does that make any sense i don't know but i do love these extra little elements in this the big collar that you can play around with the style and the patterning of the knit that hopefully you can see here I love it, goes without saying, love it a lot, love it a lot. So I'll leave the link down below for this. I'll also leave a link for the white one if I can find the white one still online for you. Right, I've got, what else have I got in here? Do you know what, I wanna show you these, um, I wanna show you these two pairs of shoes before I show you the last piece of clothing because I'm gonna have to fully change for that. So I'll quickly show you these first. Right, first thing, I'm from Gemma True. And I've been eyeing up these boots for quite some time now. So I thought this was the perfect time to buy them. Oh, they're so gorgeous. These are so me. Look at these boots. Oh, that heel. It's like this rectangular finish heel. It's like fatter and then thinner. Wow. A bit more of a square toe, which I'm not as used to, but it's still got a really feminine feel to it. It's a faux croc print style. It's got the JC right here, a little emblem. Um, very much my style of high, tall ankle boot. So these are kind of like the most, I think this is the highest price in the whole unboxing. But I kind of wanted to throw in a really amazing pair of shoes to show you what I'm excited about. I mean, anything from Jimmy Choo this season is just the dream. The calf length boots, the over knee boots, everything they have been doing has been unbelievable. So I just wanted to show you because these are just so damn sexy, but so wearable. Like with these jeans now that I'm wearing that I wear all the time, like super skinny, just tuck them in to a pair of boots like this. And he just looks so put together, like with an amazing coat over it. I just don't think you can go wrong. Let me try these out. I'm gonna have to make sure I don't step on any nails or anything in this room, just in case they don't fit and I'm so bad. Can't wait to get my room painted. 
and the flooring and just being like just like done I just can't wait for it to just be done I can walk in and everything's just ready for me that's gonna be a great day perfect so I went for my I went for my normal size 37 and that's what these are size fours let me show you these are the boots they just look I mean look at that style it's so badass Aren't they just gorgeous? Like with this outfit, like cool boots, jeans, an amazing jumper. Like this is my kind of uniform style, to be honest, this sort of thing. I love them. Feel, they just feel really comfortable. They're just sort of really fitted around the foot. They fit true to size. And they also come in tan, by the way, if you were looking for like a tan boot. But these would also look fab just with a kind of more mini dress, mini skirt, and these as well. I think they are so fab. Love the shape, so, such a cool shape, that that toe at the front. And I love, love, love them. Anyway, the point of this video is that I wanted to kind of show you where I'm now gonna put all of these new pieces in the new wardrobe to kind of show you where I'm putting everything. But just let me just get to the bottom of it first, because I want to show you everything first, and then we can kind of put everything away. Another accessory I bought, a pair of Sorrells, again with the trip coming up and it's this time of year that you may want something if you live in the countryside or if you were going for your country walks or walking around the city and you want something a bit more warm. Oh my god, they're so cute. They are so cute. They are absolutely adorable. I love Sorrell. Like Sorrell is a brand that I've got a number of their boots um, and they just fit nicely, they're super warm, they're always really cool, got really cool styles. I'm a big, big fan. I've still got loads of their boots. Um, I just wanted something more updated for the season. Oh, it's all kind of like lined with this like furry, furriness. And then on the outside, it's almost like a suede, suede around here and I really love the colour of the laces and the style it feels very um they just feel very arctic like they feel like a very arctic style boot that is comfortable guys that is so comfortable do you know what though it, I was so torn with these because there was another pair of boots that I will put here from Ugg and they were white similar vibe to these ones oh my god these are so comfortable it's ridiculous but they were, yeah, these are the ones from, were from Ugg and they're white. So cute, very similar style though. And I had to kind of choose between the two and the end I went for the Sorrells. But just so you know, these other Uggs were like oh, swooning over both and I couldn't decide. I can put both of these on because they've got more rubber soles. So I'm not quite as worried about ruining the bottoms on them. I just didn't want to snag those Jimmy Choo's on a nail and then be really gutted that I'd ruin them. Whereas these ones are more rubber soles, so these aren't going to... These aren't gonna ruin them quite the same. Right, so here we go. So fluffy and cute. Look at that! They're so adorable. They are so adorable. Let me get a bit more light in here. Again, just for when I'm away and walking around in the snow and it'll be super cold, and I can just have these kind of over the top of my ski pants or whatever. They're so adorable. They're really nice. So comfortable on the bottom as well. I've got like super rubber, got these rubber soles, these little bits. Moon boots. The really good price point as well for a pair of like more snowy, cool, cool winter boots. So yeah, these are awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh my God, they're so nice. Super happy with them. They are gorgeous. And the last thing to try on is, is this. You guys may have seen something similar to this before that I bought. Anyway, I found this. So this is self-portrait. This is a jumpsuit. And what I'm trying to say is that I have the play suit version of this already. And I saw that it came in a full jumpsuit and I am I, I'm so in love with that play suit like I've worn it so many times already that I was like okay I need to try the jumpsuit because you guys know how much I adore a tailored jumpsuit 
So I figured I'd give it a go and see if it's anything like the play suit fit and maybe this could be that really slick black. I mean, imagine this for Christmas party. It's just put on some amazing like glittery lip gloss and a glitter eye, some sparkly jewelry and a glittery bag and you've got like Christmas party outfits sorted. And I love like the price point of self portraits. I kind of very much steer towards those more premium priced brands because I find the quality is a little bit better, the style and the detailing that goes into each piece is just a little bit more elevated. So, but I still find that self portrait, if you're looking for a more special piece, it's a little more affordable than going like super duper luxury. So, let me try this on for you. Well, hello, jumpsuit. Looking fabulous. These are a pair of my wedding shoes, my sparkly Louboutins that I got for my wedding, which I bought from my Teresa. Um, but, so, this suit, this jumpsuit, this is just so gorgeous, so sexy. Deep V. Um, I mean, if you're someone that is a bit worried about maybe boobs coming out, you could always just tack it. You could always just tack it somewhere here and you wouldn't feel it would come out as much. You could easily do that. Um, but it does also come with a belt, which is currently hanging off of my back because it's just attached to the inside. But it does come with a belt and you can belt it fully here, which again would make you feel a little bit more pulled together right in this centre bit. So it doesn't really bother me. I'd feel... Personally, I feel quite secure in this, especially when the belt is in. Also, you could wear this with a really gorgeous black bra underneath. Maybe it could be lacy or just plain. And then again, you just kind of show a bit of your black bra underneath, but it just becomes part of the whole look. Lovely details of this, though, include the lapels being a really lovely shiny satin and the edging of the pockets um, all the way around the collar. And then this is a more kind of crepe feel fabric. And then it goes down into the legs, which are cut got slits a couple of inches high up each leg but it's just one of those pieces you can keep in your closet for a time when you want to look killer and like badass and you've got like a big event to go to but you still you're the kind of person who doesn't wear dresses and prefers to feel a bit more tailored just this very tailored sophisticated style really this is more your bag this could be for you just to let you know as well i am five foot seven and this fits me almost perfectly to my ankles, just here. If you've got a longer torso than me, chances are you'll still feel perfectly fitted. These, the legs will just look a little more cropped on you, which will look great. I do love a cropped leg. But for me, with my height, 5'7", I've got a little bit more room to move here. <laughs> um, and it fits just on the ankle. I think a lot of you guys are going to love this for your Christmas parties and for the holiday season it is just killer right so this is a super exciting moment where i get to start working out where i'm going to place everything in this room so for example in my i mean i could put it in my shoe cupboard they just about fit in here so they could either go in here like that or i'll form a bit of a line of them across the back of here and this goes all the way back into the very corner in there so it's quite a lot of space and the same on the bottom for tall boots so i reckon maybe here and have all of this kind of height of boot that way so then we've got the jimmy Choo boots which again will have to go in here any taller boots are going to have to kind of go you know i could get a bit of a i could get a bit of a back-to-back -back thing going on in here so i can fit a few different pairs in like this back to back next to them perhaps but for now they're great then we have a few things in this direction so these two covers so this one is like super tall hanging in this one and this one is a shelf and then like mid hanging so this would most likely most likely cut this. Maybe that would fit in there. Well, there is like a there is like a shoe rack down there, but I don't necessarily have to use it. Or I mean, it could it could still just go in here a little bit longer potentially. Then we've got this cupboard just in here that I want to put. I wanted to use all of my blazers because I'm going to have so many now that I want to kind of keep all my suits in one place. So chances are. 
I'll start using this one as my blazer cupboard. I can just be all, all my blazers can go across here and I can start storing a few things up here that I want to, even if it's just a few flat um, trousers laid out perhaps. And then we have the two knits. I have told myself I am no longer hanging my knitwear because it's so bad for it. I just always hung my knitwear before because I had nowhere else to really put it. So instead, I'm going to start properly hanging up all of my beautiful knitwear. Just into little, little things. There's a few places that I'm thinking I might put knitwear, either somewhere like this, where I can just kind of have quite a few kind of built up on top of each other, or I've got this cupboard here as well in this corner. So this cupboard in here would be the perfect place to start storing. Start storing my knitwear and then maybe the knitwear that I don't wear quite as much I could kind of move along but here for example if I had them like this I can get a good you know eight knits there stacked on top of each other and the same next door and then the same in here I left lots of room in here so I could kind of stack up loads of knitwear in there yes yeah, so that will be where my knits live I think and the last piece is my Hunter G swimsuit. These drawers are the only thing I haven't quite cleaned out yet, so I'm not going to put it in there. But I will be having one of these drawers is going to be full of swimwear, and I'm going to kind of separate it by bikinis on one side, and then swimwear on the other way, on the other side. I'm going to have a big clear out as well because I've got a lot, a lot of swimsuits that I need to get rid of. But they, but this is going to go in there as soon as I've cleaned it out. So that is everything, all in and ready to go. It's just so exciting, just so exciting now to finally have a walk-in closet. I feel so lucky, like a lot of people have a dream of having a walk-in closet and now to have one is just unbelievable. I feel so, so lucky, I really do. I don't take any of this for granted that, that me and Alex get to do and the fact we get to live in this beautiful house and we've got a very different life now to what we did before. I feel very, very grateful for all the time and the hard work I've put into it and for and for everything that I've also got out of it and for you guys for supporting me. I feel, I'm just in a bit of a funny headspace tonight because I just feel very, very grateful. I'm just like, wow, how is this mine? It's my kind of dream to have somewhere to store all my clothes and my bags and, and things. So I really hope you guys like it. I can't wait to properly reveal this to you when it's all done and I've styled it up and I've done all the shelves and I'm gonna be doing like clean out videos with you and going through different collections of things when I know what I've got. So all that's gonna be coming in Vlogmas, so I hope you're enjoying it. I'm just gonna go get a bath, I think, and I'm just feeling a bit tight chest and a little bit anxious for some reason. So I'm just gonna go get a, I'm gonna go get a bath and chill out a little bit, I think.